Altcoins are gearing up for a massive breakout. They typically lag behind Bitcoin's price movements by about three to four weeks in every single bull market we have seen in the past. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the top 10 altcoins that I am looking at right now, ones that I'm consistently buying and ones that I've talked about quite a few times on the channel and I'm always issuing buy alerts for in our Patreon group. So before we get into that though, I have a big announcement that we just opened up an additional 500 spots for Patreon. Last time we sold out in less than 24 hours. So if you wanna get access to daily live streams, buy and sell alerts, access to the private member discord, and a lot more, we'll make sure to go ahead to the link down below, grab one of the spots in Patreon before they fill up. But anyways, so today we're gonna talk about top 10 altcoins that I'm looking at. We might include one or two bonus as well. First one, we're just gonna go down the line on coin market cap. We're gonna go by highest market cap to lowest market cap. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to stick around when we get into these smaller altcoins. The first one is Ethereum. Obviously, some people say Ethereum isn't even an altcoin. It's in a it's category of its own, but Ethereum is one of the top coins that I am looking at, and I still consider it an altcoin. The reasons why I like it, and we're not gonna to dive too deep into any one coin, but obviously for all of these decentralized finance applications, it's a bigger ecosystem than just about any other DeFi crypto out there, much bigger than Cardano, much bigger than Solana, and the NFT ecosystem is also bigger as well. Second coin I'm looking at is Cardano. Cardano's price has come down significantly over the last couple of months from its all-time high of over $3 per coin. A lot of people are getting worried as to why we're not seeing big price movements for Cardano. But we gotta remember that ever since the Alonzo upgrade, which was in the first week of September 2021, well, a lot of this positive news between the Cardano Summit, the Alonzo upgrade, was already factored into Cardano's price. And since then, we have just seen a consolidation. So we're gearing up for a breakout, especially now that we're seeing more and more developers finally launch their projects on Cardano's blockchain. Third coin I'm looking at right now is Solana. This is one of the coins that I am the most excited about. I almost just did today's video only on Solana because recently we had a major announcement from FTX, one of the largest crypto exchanges in the world. It's in top 10 in terms of daily trading volume and FTX just launched their own Solana based NFT marketplace. This is huge. Everyone is looking for where is it easy to buy and sell NFTs. And right now the go-to platform by far is um, OpenSea. Everyone goes to OpenSea to buy NFTs, and it's predominantly Ethereum on OpenSea's website. So moving forward, now that we have FTX, which just launched a Solana-based NFT marketplace, this is going to be huge and could be exactly what we needed to see Solana become a real competitor to Ethereum in the NFT space. Solana has more efficient, it's more efficient in terms of able to process more transactions per second. It's better in terms of gas fees and transaction fees, but right now it just doesn't have as many applications and it was lagging in a couple of areas. So with this announcement, I am very, very excited about Solana. Fourth coin is gonna be Polkadot. Polkadot just had a massive breakout, up over 21%, and we've been talking about this a lot in the private member uh, Patreon group, also in the free Discord, saying this is one of my favorite coins out there because of its ecosystem, how developers are consistently picking Polkadot to build their projects on, and that's one of the many reasons I like it. Um, fifth coin is gonna be Uniswap. Uniswap is the largest decentralized exchange on Ethereum's blockchain, continuing to grow as we continue to see more and more people pick um, and wanna get into decentralized exchanges. Fifth is, is that fourth or fifth? Um, we did Ethereum, Cardano, Solana, um, Polkadot, Uniswap, so now we're on to the six. Six one is gonna be Terra. Terra Luna, we've talked about this quite a bit. One of my favorite coins by far. Interesting thing about Terra is that recently we have seen that the total value locked in Terra projects has increased dramatically. Now it's number three out of all um, DeFi projects out there, only behind, um, only it, it's only behind Ethereum and Solana. Seventh coin is going to be Avalanche. Avalanche, we did an entire video on this one as well. One of my favorite coins, AVAX, for a number of reasons. One thing I like about it in particular is its ability to process transactions more efficiently than many other DeFi projects out there. Um, next coin is gonna be Chainlink. 
Chainlink is a coin that has announced multiple partnerships over the last couple of weeks, and they are continuing to add more and more partnerships, which is going to continue to help grow their ecosystem. Netland. One of the last ones we're going to talk about is Algorand. Algorand is doing a lot of work in El Salvador and a couple of third world countries, and that's one of the many reasons why I like them. And then the last coin of the day is going to be Polygon. Polygon, another great coin. And I'm still pretty high up in terms of market cap at that number 22 position. I like it because if you're betting on Ethereum, you're going to need to have layer two solutions. Polygon is the largest layer two solution on um, Ethereum's blockchain. So if you think Ethereum's going to do well, well, then Polygon's going to do well also. It's simply because Polygon is a layer two solution for Ethereum and it's the largest one by far. So that was 10 coins. Um, in terms of a couple bonus ones, Axie Infinity is looking very promising, even though it has had a massive run up over the last 90 days. If you're into NFTs and gaming, Axie Infinity is definitely one that you want to get exposure to. And then another bonus we could say is EOS. EOS has been getting a lot of traction recently, starting to gain a little bit. It lacks in media exposure in terms of other DeFi projects like Solana and Cardano, but we're starting to see that um, increase a little bit. So we'll see what happens. But those are the top coins I am looking at. If you're interested, make sure to join our free Discord using the link down below. We'll talk more about these and also our private member community. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.